York City and we are attacking the Mexican food truck here Don Patribio I'm pronouncing it right I'm sorry I'm pronouncing it in the French way but uh, I'm gonna get a, a fish burrito so with that said everyone thank you Melissa for donating to the burrito fun but I also want to say thank you to Michael Collins for the donation Lord Brian for a donation Lisa Kerr for a donation just to emphasize why I removed some of the comments that I claim to so called gave a donation to the PayPal and never received a donation to the PayPal only to Lisa Kerr has been donated to the PayPal so far so with that said, I want to give a shout out to those supporting the channel. You're a big help. But, uh, we're going to move this wagon over here. Try to get it out of the, out of the way. So, if you guys don't understand what's going on in this video, I'm a travel documentary and photographer. And what started this was that I moved out of Wisconsin, Milwaukee because I had a kind of like a terrible move, living experience with someone. And then we said, decided to come to New York and we went to Boston and we, you see, we did some work here. We did some photography for quite some time. It was stable and it got kind of dry. So business was kicking in. So now we are here live I want to get a fish burrito so with that said let's go get that damn fish burrito right here in Long Island City everybody so that's it Oh yeah, there's a marijuana truck right there. Useless. <laughs> I had to buy food. So with that said, everyone, yeah, Court Square Diner. We're back at Long Island City. So this is not my first time at this food truck. It's probably my fourth time at this food truck. But anyway, everybody, thank you, Melissa, for the dinner tonight. But it's also raining right now, so I'm trying to keep shelter. But we should be on the other side. What I should do is move to the other side so we don't get wet as much. So what I'm going to do is move to the other side. Bird shit. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? All the bird shit is right here, but technically the birds are, are migrating, so there's no birds here. We only do that in the winter and, and during the summer. But what that said, everyone. Oof. It is cold and raining at the same time. So take it with the grain of salt, everyone. But anyway, thank you, Melissa, for the burrito. But St. Patrick's Day, everybody, is coming up. I will be doing a live stream on St. Patrick's Day, Fifth Avenue, live stream. So stay tuned to that as well. If you're not familiar with the St. Patrick's Day parade here in New York City. New York City press office is actually requiring me to buy a press vest, which I just, I'm about to in 
a little bit big everybody so the money that you guys are helping me with i have to buy a custom press vest i guess so nypd can identify us on the floor which is like those yellow reflector vests yeah it has to say press on it yeah so i have to buy one for like 30 bucks so yep new requirements new 2023 and i think that's pretty decent decent okay because that helps you understand that i'm on the floor and i can move anywhere on that parade so if you guys want to contribute to that hostel fee there's links down in the descriptions below if you want to contribute or you can buy a print you can just support the channel or just buy one of my prints so they can be in your house because honestly i don't really make a profit on my prints to be honest i don't i just want my prints in your house i may make ten dollars off my prints i'm just being honest but i'd just rather have my prints in your house and if people see your prints they'd be like oh who's the guy who's the lady <laughs> but anyway friends i just want to say thank you to everyone that has been supporting and uh just wanted to emphasize thank you but i am going to get that delicious fish burrito but St. Patrick's Day is on March 17th, so I'm trying to only stay for the two days, 16th and 17th, and check out the 18th. I don't want to spend too much money on New York City anymore. I just want to do a lot of like main events for the two days, and that is it. If that's understandable, if you guys can understand what I'm trying to apply here, is that I want to, I want to be here on the first two days of the event and on the day of the event and then check out the next day. I don't want to be here the next day or spend money on the next day. So with that said everyone, thank you for supporting the channel. It is raining as I predicted and said earlier in my short little video today. And then Andy Scott was saying that if you ever going to get off the streets, and I was like, it's up to society to decide if I'm worthy, because since I'm black in America, not everyone sees me as uh, honest and worthy. That most people are now trying to live outside their vans and their houses and, and their vehicles because it's much cheaper, you can afford it, and then a fucking ranch and then spend a five grand, three grand on a. Yeah, I don't know. I'd rather to, like live out my van than live in an apartment for $2,000 a month. But I'm just emphasizing why, in like 10 years from now, five years from now, Half of the fucking generation today is not going to afford a rent in the future. I guarantee you that. The more, the more taxes go up, the more people are not going to afford to pay rent. And look at New York City. They just have now had to pay $21.5 million to that George Floyd protest that happened in the Bronx and more, uh, what is that? Mount, Mount, what is that? Mount the Bronx, I don't know, some place near 138th Street. And basically, what happened was they did it what they call a uh, uh, what do they call that the, the police tactic, a stampede where they block off both sides so protesters can't get out. And they beat in Patong these free protesters that them were they were doing a free protest, they have a right to protest. And basically, guys, you have to understand, you have a right in this country to do a protest and freedom of speech. And they were not doing anything. And now NYC has to pay money out of taxpayers' dollars. And that is 
what is it, 21.5 thousand dollars per person, which means that from what the records I looked at, it was 287 people that got arrested. So that means like they have to pay, <laughs> yeah, quite a bit of money. See? And Mayor Adams has the answers to that. And I'm telling him that your police are not being police, they're being tyrants. So keep that in mind. Tyrants. That's what they are. They think they're above the law, but they're citizens. And we pay for these tyrants. Shame. It's a shame that we, that taxpayers have to pay for these type of tyrants, and they're supposed to protect and serve. But I digress. With that said, everyone, let's take care. I'm gonna get my burrito. I'm gonna have a good night. I'm gonna get wet tonight. It's gonna be a long one.